Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing very well. So in today's video we're doing another unboxing but first of all I want to um, apologise for not really filming a lot last week. I know I have, I don't have any kind of commitments to actually film. Um, I know I say film whenever I get a chance to and although I've had chances I just haven't been feeling myself to actually film anything um, and I just didn't want to film and not be myself and it kind of looked like I'm just forcing myself to do this video um, or just videos in general um, but I'm feeling a little bit better and I thought today would be a perfect day to kind of yeah do an unboxing and of course I have a new background I know it does not look right at the moment I have been having issues um, trying to sort it out and I will sort it out hopefully by the next video um, it's just awkward really awkward trying to put this up um, and I got it from Amazon it was only eight pounds and it is absolutely gorgeous um, and I love it but it's just a pain in the bum to try and like put somewhere but hopefully I'll sort it out but in today's video in case you couldn't tell by the title I am unboxing a unicorn cosmetics um, I don't know what that noise was um, unboxing for like a mystery box this is cool because um, I know my last video I did a um, mystery box as well and it actually does quite well on my channel so I think I might do some more of these depending on how much they are but this box itself was £20 which is actually a freaking bargain um, and this box is normally £80 I believe and yeah it's about £80 worth of products and I got it yesterday I was gonna film it yesterday but I just wasn't feeling right so I just didn't want to do it um, but first of all how amazing is this packaging like honestly this is gorgeous um i am really happy just even by the packaging i've never tried anything by unicorn cosmetics before so this is gonna be like a definitely first impressions um i i did have a quick look because i can't help myself but i am um, i can't really remember what's in there because i have the memory of a goldfish um but yeah i actually looked on their website today and this is sold out now so um, you can't pick up any, any more of the mystery boxes. I don't know if they have other ones, uh, but this is like a big bargain. So let's have a look, shall we? So you open up the box and that's like spoiler straight away. But can we just like, honestly, what <laughs> what is this packaging? It's insane. I'm sure a lot of people would spend 30 pounds or 20 pounds just on this packaging alone. Like that's, that's so beautiful. And I'm pretty sure Unicorn Cosmetics are still kind of like an independent brand you can get them on beauty bay and they're obviously their own website um but i've never i've never tried any of their products before this is insane what they're really known for actually is their brushes they have handles which are um basically like shaped like mermaid's tails and um it's insane. Actually, what I'm going to do, I want to triple check how much everything this box was, um, just so I don't want to give you the wrong information. Okay, so yeah, it was £20 I purchased it, and it's worth £70. So you're, essentially you can get up to seven items in here, like you can't, well, seven is like, obviously the amount that you get. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited, I'm really nervous, just because, again, I can't remember what was in here. But yeah, let's just go in, in deep. So the first thing I see is a brush. Um, and it's in like a little plastic, little plastic board. So let's open this out. I've not tried it. I literally have tried nothing from Unicorn Cosmetics before. So this is a Pro Contour powder brush. And it comes with a little pom-pom, which is really cute. Um, I mean, I don't even know how much these products are by themselves. So this is the UC035 Chisel Cheeks. Um, yeah, super cute. Obviously, they're known for these type of handles. I have seen Revolution dupe them before because I have a couple of them that look exactly like this. So, yeah, this is the first item. I'm going to get rid of this plastic because I don't need it. The first thing I see is another brush. <laughs> We're fine. I love brushes, but, you know, sometimes could be too many. But I think this is the um, Wisp Me XL powder brush. So that's very cute. Let's have a look have a closer look I like this little tube it's nice but I, I, I love these pom-poms I don't know what I'm gonna put them on because I don't really use <laughs> don't really put them on anything unless I put them on my keys but I don't really need I don't really need to but um god this is a massive powder brush very soft very nice um I have so many brushes 
but I am very happy to have something like this in my collection. So I can only imagine these brushes are like in the 15, 20 pound mark because they don't look cheap and I can't get this back on. <laughs> I hate doing this. I'm gonna leave that. We'll be here all day if I keep on doing that. So the next thing is a pair of lashes and this is the Insta Famous eyelashes. Um, I'm not the biggest eyelash person, which is fine. Um, I tend to wear, oh no, sorry, this is in Eternal. Um, I'm sorry, it's outside. I tend to wear eyelashes if it's like a really over the top look or if it's a special occasion. Um, even then, I don't really wear eyelashes, but you know, I have a, a collection of eyelashes now just through like mystery boxes or other type of collections that I get. Um, so yeah, these are the 3D Luxury Lash uh, reusable 10 plus wears and yeah these are super cute packaging on the back you get to see the owner I believe um, or the creator I don't know um, but yeah packaging is always really super cute and then the next thing is a brush cleaner which is quite interesting I didn't know they did uh, brush I mean they sell brushes so I guess the cleaner is probably um, ideal but it's actually the at the um product that you would kind of clean with let's open it sorry a bit of asmr if anyone likes that <laughs> Ugh, i should not have done that um okay so yeah i guess you could i've got my lipstick everywhere um put your hand just in here clean your brushes so that's pretty cool i do need something like this i tend to um well i do have a brush kind of balm that i use and it comes with a little bristle thing so i might start using this as well because you've got three different uh not settings but you've got three different types of how you want to wash your brush so that's pretty handy and um, the next thing oh my god okay so this is something that i have had in my beauty bay wish list for ages um and it is the glowing press highlighter powder i've never tried this before i really wanted to but one of my friends um who has used this and she did a video on this my friend Layla um she said it wasn't that great um so I kind of took it off my wish list and now I got it so I get to try it finally but I think this by itself is about 15 pounds so good thing I got this in the in that um so yeah this is in the gloating uh no do it sorry do it yeah do it <laughs> um yeah, I'll give this a swatch in a moment. And then there's two more products left. So there is a uh, prismatic pigment, which is a green shade, which is right up my alley. So if don't know if you can even see it. It's really tiny. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm not like, I don't ever use pressed pigments that much because they're such a mess. But I, I will use this in the future. Pretty cool. And then I'm pretty sure this is the last thing. And when I saw this, I'm like, what the hell is this? But I kind of got an understanding of what it is. But I think it's a brush holder. Um, okay, I don't, I mean, that's cool. I could put my brushes in there. I mean, let's give it a test because I, we'll see. Let's, let's experiment on how this will work. So let's get one of these ones and can you put it here okay i can put it there that's fine thing is i have a little pouch for my makeup brushes because i don't like leaving them out due to the dust and everything because i live in a very like dusty area um but i guess for like display purposes not that anyone's gonna want to look at my unicorn cosmetics brush collection <laughs> but um if they ever come around i'll be like yeah have a look at my brushes they're pretty awesome um i mean this is a cute idea i just it's not ideal for me which you know that's the whole point of a mystery box you're never gonna get everything that you want unless you know what's in there um but i guess this is cute i'll put this somewhere I don't have much space in my flat, so I don't even know where I'm going to put this. But um, yeah, that was everything in the mystery box. Um, there's nothing to kind of indicate how much everything was, unless you probably go onto their website and have a look. But um, I like them. You know, it's pretty cool. I mean, again, this is the first mystery box and um, kind of things that I've got from Unicorn Cosmetics. So what I'm going to do, I'll quickly open this because it's wrapped in plastic. So I don't want to waste like 10 minutes just opening it on camera. So... When I come back, I'll do some swatching. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the outside, which is pretty darn cute. And then let's open it. And it's got so much plastic everywhere. It's insane. Um, but yeah, this is what the highlighter looks like in case you've never seen 
their highlighters before um i guess this could work for me let's give it a swatch so i'm gonna take a clean finger this is not a clean finger but this one and we're just gonna ooh okay uh let's can you see uh i can see but i don't know if you can see <laughs> on here yeah that's pretty i mean here you can see um yeah, I mean, I'm glad I got this part of the box as opposed to just buying it from Beauty Bay because I probably would have bought it and been like, this is shit. <laughs> and be like, I'm sending it back. Not that I do that. Um, but yeah, I'm intrigued to try this. What I might do is do a video separately on uh, the makeup items that I got part of mystery boxes because I did buy a couple of things from Doll Beauty, uh, part of a mystery box that I didn't do on camera because it was like five things that cost a tenner, so that's pretty handy. Um, but I think I'll use those in another video. But good thing I got a highlighter because I had been looking for a new highlighter to chew, to try, not choose. Um, and I guess this is okay. We'll see how it looks on the cheeks. Obviously, I have highlighted today. Uh, the video for this look is coming tomorrow. So um, today I am, well, the, the day that I'm filming this on Saturday, um, hopefully it'll be uploaded by later on today. Um, but yeah, that was everything in the mystery box. Is it all worth £70? I don't really know. Like, I, what is the most expensive out of all this? Maybe this brush or maybe that plastic holder i really don't know um but i guess it's a nice collection of things again it's a nice way for me to try this brand for the first time because i have not and i have wanted to so i'm glad i got the box it's probably not the greatest box in the world but it's a nice introduction but yeah that was everything in this unicorn cosmetics box let me know what you think did you pick one up and um what did you get did you get anything different because i'm intrigued and maybe the next time they do one i'll probably get another one as long as it's not the same shit because i don't want <laughs> i don't want more of this but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe because i film and upload every time i get a chance to don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because i'm always active and you can get a closer look of this box if you want to i'll do like a close-up picture and if you want me to do more mystery boxes let me know because i'm always on the lookout for new boxes so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you're doing well hope you're healthy happy and you're safe i'll see you very soon goodbye